Shame on you if you're expecting to see me without my clothes on. I'm the naked pastor because I'm here to tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the naked truth as we see it in God's Word. This morning we were talking about uh, Nicodemus, one of the leaders of the Jewish Sanhedrin, the, the Jewish Senate, the ruling class within Jerusalem, and how he had seen the signs and wonders that Jesus had performed. He had heard the testimony from other people saying that, Maybe this guy is the one. And Nicodemus was so close, but he wasn't quite there. He came to see Jesus after dark, because he didn't want anybody to know that he was going out to see Jesus, and, and, and perhaps be accused of thinking maybe he was the Messiah. So he shows up in the third chapter of John, and he says, Rabbi, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. And Jesus has a really odd response because Jesus knows his heart. Jesus doesn't have to pay attention so much to what we say. He pays attention to what we really believe. And so he responds this way, which at first sounds a little odd. He says, Nicodemus, I tell you the truth. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Now Nicodemus is like, what? What do you mean, born again? How can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? That's not what Jesus was talking about. You see, we are all sinners. Now, I'll be willing to bet that you have used that term, or you have heard that phrase used yourself. Hey, we're all sinners. Sometimes we even use it to justify bad behavior. When we make a bad decision, kind of throw your hands up and go, ah, well, we're all sinners. We are all sinners. A sinner is someone who is spiritually dead. Someone who is spiritually dead is someone whose soul is separated from God. And when your soul is separated from God, it ends up where all the other souls that are separated from God go. We call that hell. So if you're a sinner, you end up in hell. And I can prove it to you mathematically. I don't know if you remember algebra, I barely got through my algebra class. But do you remember the transitive property of equality? I'll give you a minute. No? Well, the transitive property of equality is if A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. Makes absolute sense. If A leads to B and B leads to C, then A leads to C. There's no other way around it. Well, if you're a sinner, you're spiritually dead. Your soul is separated from God. If your soul is separated from God, it goes to where all the souls that are separated from God are. Hell. So if you're a sinner, you go to hell. If A equals B and B equals C, A equals C. Perfect mathematical logic. So, if we're all sinners, we're all destined for hell. Now, I know that sounds a little depressing, because you can't do anything about it. You're a sinner. I'm a sinner. You're a sinner, I'm a sinner, would you like to be a sinner too? We are, we're born that way. David said in Psalm 51, For I was born a sinner. Yes, from the moment my mother conceived me. And there's nothing you can do about it. If your parents were Irish, you were born Irish. It's in your blood. We were born sinners, and there's nothing we can do about it. But there is something God can do about it. And he did. He sent his son. It says in John 3, 16, For God loved the world so much, He gave His one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him will not perish, but have eternal life. So, are every person on the face of the earth going to hell? No, just sinners. Except those who are born again. Those who have accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior are born again. They are no longer spiritually dead. And those will see the kingdom of God. So if you have not made a decision yet for Christ, think about it. Think about where we're all heading if we're sinners and where we can head if we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Until next time, when you're ready to hear more of the naked truth, I'm the naked pastor saying, God bless.